Let's take a look at the lesson on residuals, outliers, and influential points. Now, in a linear regression setting, a residual is the vertical deviation an actual point is away from the least squares regression line. Sometimes we call residuals error components or simply deviations. The formula for a residual is y minus y hat. So a residual value is equal to the actual y value of the response variable minus y hat the predicted y value of the response variable from the least squares regression line. So once again a residual value is an error component and it's calculated by taking the actual y value minus the predicted y value that lies on the least squares regression line. So points above the least squares regression line will have a positive residual and points below the least squares regression line will have a negative residual. The residual is the actual y value once again minus the predicted y value based on the least squares regression line. Now the concept of residuals is going to become very important when we study the least squares regression line. Consider the following residual plot. In this particular plot we have our explanatory variable tree age in years versus our residual values. And the residual values, the actual y values minus the y hat values. Notice some of our data had positive residuals and some of our data had negative residuals. The least squares regression line used for this model is given to us by y hat equals 4.352 plus 21.322x. Consider the residual value of 5, comma, negative 40.962 in the residual graph. This particular negative residual basically tells us that the actual observation fell below the least squares regression line. According to this residual value, what is the actual value of y when the tree age was equal to 5? According to this residual value, what is the actual value of y when the tree age is 5? Now recall a residual value was equal to the actual y value minus the predicted y value. We're actually given a residual value here of negative 40.962. So I'm going to plug in negative 40.962 and I'm going to set that equal to y, my actual value, minus my predicted value. Now to find the predicted value here, I'm going to evaluate y hat when x is equal to 5. 4.352 plus 21.322 times 5. Now the predicted value is 110.962. Solving for this, if I take that 110.962 and subtract 40.962, then I get an actual value of 70. The actual value here for y, whatever we're measuring with this tree age here, is equal to 70. The least squares regression line predicted it to be 110.962. So the actual observation fell below the predicted uh, value that was on the least squares regression line, leading us to a negative residual value. Now a residual plot is a very important graphical display in a linear regression. The plot will allow us to know if the bivariate data is truly linear. A residual plot consists of a scatter plot of the x values, your explanatory variable, versus the residual values which are calculated by taking the actual y value minus the predicted y value y hat. Residuals can be graphed against other statistics. The most common is y hat. Typically we graph the residuals versus the x values, our explanatory variable, but residuals can also be graphed against y hat as well. If no pattern exists in the residual plot, this is an indication that the bivariate data is truly linear and that a linear association exists between x and y. We need to see a random scattering or dispersion of points where the residuals are bouncing back and forth across the horizontal axis. 